Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I am laying a block staircase platform. In this video today I'm going to show you how to figure out your measurement. Mark that measurement on the block. Cut the block. And a couple tips on how to lay that block in. Alright, so I'm at the closure part of my wall here. I need to get my measurement. So what I do is put my tape here and it says 13. Now, I don't want to make my cut exactly 13 inches because there will be no joint for the mud. And your average joint on your mud is 3 eighths. 3 eighths plus 3 eighths is 6 eighths, which is 3 quarters. So you need to make room for 3 quarters of an inch for your joints. So 13 minus 3 quarters is 12 and a quarter. And that's for every single time you're beating two walls together. So no matter the measurement, 12, six and a quarter, three and five eighths, you always subtract three quarters of an inch when there's a joint on both sides of your cut. All right, so this is how I mark my block. <clears throat> Instead of, you know, like measuring it and marking it and marking it and straight edging it or whatever you do, <clears throat> I just find 12 and a quarter, because that's my number, and I hold my finger right against the edge of my block here. Finger, right on 12 and a quarter. Marker, right on the edge of my block here. Put it there, and slide. I don't have to move my hand. It saves my number. Make sure you flip it over exactly like this, and you don't put the mark on the wrong side. You want it to be on the same side here. And again, just around 12 and a quarter and slide it off. If you've seen that before or you use it yourself, please comment your experience with that. If you are new to this trick and you're going to use it, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I will have countless more tricks like this to show you. All right, now I got to cut it. So, you know, like you should wear safety goggles and a mask and stuff like you're supposed to. Yeah. Don't you hate when that happens? Once you get your saw started, the first thing I do is put my left foot on the bigger side of my block. That will keep the block still, and the saw won't throw it into me while I'm cutting it. Then I hold the saw as straight as possible and trace that line I made with the saw blade. This will help me keep the cut super straight. Then I come back to the start and bury the saw through the whole block. I set the saw down for safety when I flip the block, that way I don't have anything happen by accident and I get hurt. And the same thing every time, foot on the block, hold it straight and trace, come back and bury it. And that is how I cut a block with a chop saw. All right, now that I got my piece made, I can spread my mud. And I can only put a head on this side of my block. Anytime you have a closure like this, you wanna make sure you head it on this block, here, and on all four of your heads. That way all the mud is uh, together and doesn't fall off. So I can't head this side, so it'll be fine. I just gotta put heads on my block. And you just slide it right down. Notice how this side where I didn't head, all the mud just squished out. And on this side, there's all that mud in there. And that's why I head up all four sides of my block. So this side right here is completely filled with mud because I headed the block and the cut. And this side over here, I couldn't head the wall, but I headed the cut and all the mud got squished out. 
Then if you're using a string or a level or whatever, just make sure you level it and it's all straight and good. If this helped you out or provided value for you in any way, would you please smash the like button for me and subscribe to my channel? I have lots more uh, videos on how to lay block and like time lapses and just stuff about masonry and construction. We work seven days a week so I'm going to have tons more videos coming out about what we're working on and uh, time lapses, how to's and all sorts of stuff like that.